What is the best form of Shilajit to take? In fact, the answer to this question will help you navigate not only Shilajit, medicinal mushrooms, any type of food or herb. And the answer comes down to what is the best form to take, the one that you will take. And I was reminded of this uh, twice actually this week, two different interactions with some customers. Uh, one was coming in looking for Shilajit for uh, an elderly grandparent, someone who's in kind of a little bit of a precarious health situation, he's into his 80s, and uh, they wanted Shilajit as part of their kind of regime. Now, she immediately had gone to uh, this one here from Symbiotica, you know, because as she had said, David Wolf talking about it, he says, this is the best one. Okay, that must be the best one to get. I says, well, let's think about your grandpa for a second here. You know, this one comes in a small little container uh, with a little bit of a spoon that you need to kind of, you know, scoop it out, put it into a jar, pour the hot water on top that might not be something that's easy for him to do. So we started to talk about some of the options uh, that she had, you know, and one other customer uh, came in and she knew exactly what was the best because for her and her husband, who's gonna be taking the Shilajit, she says, I cannot give him powder. He's not gonna take the liquid. He's not gonna do the resin but he will take the capsules. So that is the moral of the story. What is gonna work best for you or whoever you're buying it for? Same with the medicinal mushrooms, right? Do you love making tea? Is that something that can be a part of your everyday? If you're like myself and some of the other staff here, maybe you do love crafting different teas and blends and putting in mushrooms and roots and barks and concocting your own herbal formulas, then great. The medicinal mushrooms in their raw form to make tea are perfect for you. Others, it's those extract powders, just the simple addition to a coffee. So. Think about you know various factors of the different foods and herbs that you're getting, but most importantly, in determining what's the best for you is the form that's gonna be easiest for you to take. There's a saying in herbalism that compliance is key. The herbs don't work unless you take them, and we wanna make it as easy as possible that you get this into yourself. All right, when it comes to Shilajit, I introduce you to the resin, to capsules. Uh, we also have it in an extract powder form. So this can be added to your tea, drinking water, lemonades, anything like that, super easy to use. Just a small little scoop, you know, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, you know, whatever you're feeling called to use uh, into liquid and away you go. Uh, we also do have uh, one that is in a tincture form and this is a Shilajit that's actually harvested from North America. Now, typically Shilajit is sourced from the Himalayas, uh, from India, China, Tibet, you know, Mongolia, those types of areas. Uh, but this one specifically sourced from North America and uh, in a liquid tincture format, super easy to take.